Hi, I'm David Baxter, the writer of Marksman. Um, prior to writing this comic book, uh, I was and, and am a, uh, a screenwriter in the WGA and also a producer of uh, film and television. Um, some of the things that I've worked on in the past uh, were Star Trek Voyager. Um, I have kind of a specialty in writing about uh, true life stories um, with an interest in science and um, I try to bring all of that, you know, and all of the research know-how that I have uh, in, my, uh, in my other jobs uh, to writing The Marksman. And I really hope that uh, it pays off and uh, the fans appreciate the uh, verisimilitude that uh, comes with that. I was first approached to write The Marksman uh, by producer Michael Benaroya, uh, who's a friend and we were working on some projects. And he knew uh, that I had a background in world building. Um, actually, way back uh, in, in many years ago, I was a champion Dungeons and Dragons player. I don't know if people actually, I don't know if I want people to know that, but you guys know now. And um, I was the dungeon master, so I was really into creating entire worlds. So the idea of being able to create a world, sort of a post-apocalyptic future, uh, was very enticing to me. And I've been a huge comic fan for years, and I have been involved in developing um, some comics properties into films. So to do just the opposite and start with just a comic book, uh, I thought would be incredibly cool. And, uh, and Michael gave me that opportunity. It wasn't a really difficult transition for me to uh, go from writing screenplays to writing comic books. Um, just because I had a, a really strong arts background and I've always, you know, thought visually. So in, in many ways it was kind of freeing to do a comic book because for the first time I, I could literally direct the action, which I tend not to do in my screenplays. Uh, and then when you have, you know, such fantastic artists like Tom Coker and uh, Javier Aranda to take my words and turn them into pictures, it was just was magical. Probably the closest thing I'll ever get to directing a movie. When I was first given the assignment of creating the world of Marksman, um, I wanted to do something really grounded in reality. And I have a lot of friends who are scientists and futurists, and I sort of talked to them about different kinds of post-apocalyptic scenarios other than alien invasions and zombie attacks, something real. and. Um, you know, after talking with a lot of people, I came to the conclusion that, you know, what would happen if just the recession went on and, you know, our government went bankrupt and things collapsed, civil war broke out, you know, nothing magical, just kind of things going on as they are. And it was pretty scary. And I thought, okay, this could be really, really cool. So I took that and I thought, all right, which cities in the United States might be able to survive on their own. And I've always loved San Diego. And I thought, look, these guys, they've got, you know, Navy SEALs, Marines, they've got scientists, they've got a couple of nuclear subs, they've got the best research and development in uh, solar technology right now. That's a place that I would want to go. And uh, I created kind of a, a technological utopia. You know, and they, the, the, the price for this is they had to seal themselves off from the rest of the world. And the marksmen, uh, you know, are the, is the group of, uh, of warriors. Uh, they're all ancestors of the Navy SEALs and the Marines who basically hold, uh, you know, the outside world at bay and protect the citizens of New San Diego. And so it all kind of sprung from that. Uh, I think it's a kind of an exciting world, and I hope you'll... Uh, you know, join us in it.